It's Patrick from Half Wheel, and this is the Jetline Jetmaster. Now, Jetline released this lighter at the 2019 IPCPR Convention and Trade Show as a new entry into its budget, economy, no frills, whatever you want to call it, segment of the lighter market. But don't sell it short just yet, because by the end of this review, I may have you thinking that this could and should be your everyday carry lighter. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about it. It stands three and a quarter inches tall. It's about one inch thick, and it's widest, it's 1.1 inches, and that is where that ignition mechanism is right there on the left-hand side. It weighs 2.3 ounces, or about 66 grams. It's very light, very pocket-friendly. It's about the same diameter as a 64 ring gauge cigar, so you can put it in a travel humidor, and depending on what else you're carrying, it'll either fit in there really nicely, or it may take up a slot. Uh, but again, very portable, very pocket friendly, very easy to carry around. It's available in four colors, either black, red, chrome, or gunmetal. And those colors refer to the upper portion right up here, while the tank is always going to be clear in this translucent plastic. Each one of those sells for just $12.99, putting it right square in the middle of that $10 to $15 range that I find to be absolutely ripe with really good, really solid, really reliable cigar lighters. Now, if you're thinking you've seen something like this before from Jetline, you're not going crazy. And that's probably the Jetline Super Torch. And that is this lighter right here. Now, this is available both in, or in single, double, triple flame configurations. Right now, the Jetmaster is only available as a single flame. And you'll notice some similarities, but you'll also notice some differences. In terms of the size, the Jetmaster is just a little bit taller. In terms of width, it's just a little bit wider in terms of the diameter of the fuel tank and the cylinder. But the biggest difference is that this entire ignition mechanism has been consolidated up to here, making the overall footprint a lot smaller. One other noticeable difference is that there's more air vents on the Jetmaster than there was on the Super Torch. You can see there's three on this side, three on this side, whereas there are six on each side of the Jetmaster. And what that does is it helps to make sure that the lighter is going to light when you fire the ignition, and it's going to give it as strong of a flame as possible by introducing a lot of airflow into the mix. So that's really a big selling point as well. Another big difference is that the Super Torch was a single action ignition, whereas the Jetmaster is not. And what I mean by single action ignition is that if you push down right there, the lid pops open, you keep pushing, the butane starts flowing and you light the lighter. Now, in regards to the Jetmaster, you pull down, the lid does not flip open. You have to manually flip it open like that and then you can pull it down and light the lighter. Now, the reason for that is pretty simple. The, is a, there's a little mechanism right there, a little piece of metal that holds the lid in place once closed and a little notch up at the top where that fits into. And what ends up happening is that over time, every time you pull down right there, there's a little bit of friction. And every time you close the lid, there's just a little bit of friction. And you do that enough times. And eventually that contact and that friction that holds it in place is going to wear out and it's not going to keep the lid in place. And then your lid will just be stuck open like that and you won't be able to close it. Now, whether or not that's a huge deal to you, I'll let you be the judge of that. But if you like a lid that stays in place, as I tend to, X does make the the mechanism sort of a it, it defeats itself over time. So what they did with that is they just got rid of the little latch and now you just flip it up with your thumb, not a huge inconvenience, pull the ignition down, and there you go. Now, you may be wondering why are we reviewing a $13 lighter? And I'll tell you why, because this lighter right here sort of became the de facto lighter of the half wheel staff. Now, I live in Phoenix, and the cigar trade show is generally in Las Vegas, which means I drive up instead of flying. And because I drive, that means I can carry lighters and butane and stuff like that. And inevitably, I would be the one to bring a Ziploc bag full of lighters. And there would be like 10 to 15 of these, uh, either the single flame, the double, the triple, whatever it was. But there was a dozen or so. There was always in my bag every year. And so when I wanted to do this video review, I wanted to show you the two lighters side by side. So I went to that exact same bag to try and find one. And you know what? This is the last one I have. They are so popular, so reliable that everyone seemed to grab one and then either give it to somebody or leave it somewhere and it got picked up or just took it with them. So now this is my last super torch that exists in my possession. 
Now, normally I would be online ordering a dozen or so more just to have them around because I like them so much, but this may have changed my mind. So, as I mentioned, this is currently just a single flame torch. And as you can see, right there, standard ignition. Nothing too crazy. It's not an oversized torch. It's just a good, solid, reliable single flame. So let's turn the lights down and show you what this actually looks like. So again, just pull down the ignition. And I have it set maybe a little bit more than medium height. But that is pretty much what it looks like. A nice blue single flame torch. I'm turn the lighting up just a little bit so you can get a little better look at it. And as you can see, it comes to a nice fine pinpoint at the top. Makes it super easy to touch up a cigar if you need to. If you smoke Lanceros or Coronas or small ring gauges, this will work just perfectly. And if you like bigger ring gauge cigars, this will work just as well. It's certainly not as powerful as a triple flame torch, but it will more than do the job. And for me, I always like to have a little bit smaller lighter than a little bit bigger lighter to prevent the sides of a cigar from getting scorched up and things like that. So that's what it looks like. Not necessarily oversized, but certainly capably sized for whatever you're going to throw its way. So let's turn the lights back up. Now, I did have this burning for a little bit longer than I probably normally would when lighting a cigar. So this upper part is just a little bit warm. It's not going to burn me. It's just a little hot, but you know it'll cool off in just a few seconds. So just something to be mindful in that regard. And I really think that you can kind of hold your finger down there and you're never going to feel too much of it from the ignition, certainly. Now, one other thing I want to point out, because this is one of my favorite parts of this lighter, which again, has no frills, there's no cutter, there's no Bluetooth, there's no speaker. There's not a lot of accessories or extras here to begin with. But one of the things I really love about this is the flame adjustment mechanism. And all you have to do is stick your nail in there like that and flip that little tab out. And again, no special tools required. As long as you got just a little bit of a fingernail, you'll be able to get it out. And it's pretty simple. Righty tighty. And that turns the flame down. Lefty loosey. And that turns the flame up. And if you forget all of that, there are directions right there. The fuel valve is right in the middle. It takes standard butane, nothing special. And seems to burn very well on whatever kind of butane you put in it. So once again, that is the Jetline Jetmaster, one of the newest single flame torches from Jetline and a lighter that I have really come to love. I really do think this is going to become a standard for uh, the lighter segment against which all other lighters may be judged. And I say that because you can spend $10 on a lighter or you can spend you know, $1,000 on a lighter. And at the end of the day, its job is pretty much singular in my book, which is to light your cigar. And I've never come across a lighter that makes my cigar taste any better. So once you get past that, then it's all about design and other things, that, intangibles and whatnot that come with the uh, come with a lighter. And you can place your own value on that. But for me, the discussion kind of starts and ends with lighters like this. And I will say there are a lot of them out there from some great companies: Vertigo, Firebird, which is a part of Calibri, and of course Jetline, as well as a few others. So again. That's the Jetline Jetmaster. Thanks so much for checking out this video and for checking out halfwheel.com, your source for all things happening in the cigar industry.